long time ago, in the late 14th century, in Sabruso, Portugal, a boy named Ferdinand Magellan was born. He was the son of Rodrigo de Magalhães, who was then the mayor of the town and was married to Alda de Misqueta. Magellan's family belonged to a family of minor aristocrats in Portugal. One day, Magellan's father brought him to a town called Porto, a harbor that is crowded with galleon ships and seafaring travelers packed and was filled with exciting tales of sea exploration adventures. This inspired Magellan and shifted his interest and love to sea explorations. But fate does not seem to back up Magellan's adventurous dream. At the young age of 10, a tragic incident happened where both Ferdinand and Magellan's parents died. Because of this tragedy, Magellan and his brother Diego decided to travel to Lisbon to serve as pages for the Queen Leonora's court. It was at Queen Leonora's court school where Magellan broadened his interest and knowledge about sea exploration. Eventually, he was inspired to learn subjects which gave him knowledge on cartography, astronomy, and celestial navigation that led him to become an explorer. Magellan, by the start of 1505, joined the service of Portuguese Navy to gain experience in navigation. He joined the sail with a fleet headed and commanded by Francisco de Almeida to India and Africa. The voyage aimed to break Muslim sea power presence over India and Africa. For over the next seven years, Magellan joined and participated in several expeditions in India and Africa and was involved in actual battles and was wounded in several battles he encountered. When Magellan decided to start his voyage to Spice Island by sailing the West Coast route, he sent a petition to the King of Portugal asking for support for his trip west to Spice Island. And fortunately, the Portuguese king did not grant his request for support. Magellan then decided to travel in Spain to pursue his voyage plan. And when Magellan reached Spain, he then met Diogo Barbosa, a transplanted Portuguese, which later became his friend. Later on, Magellan married Diogo Barbosa's daughter, Maria Caldera Beatriz, and had two sons named Rodrigo de Magalhães and Carlos de Magalhães. One day, Diego brought Magellan to the Spain Maritime Office and met the officers who were responsible for maritime exploration. While meeting them, it made Magellan become motivated to continue his desire to travel to Spice Island. He then secured an appointment to the King of Spain. He sent a petition to King Charles I to his west voyage to Spice Island. Luckily, the king agreed. Upon his promise that his sea voyage would bring immeasurable reaches to Spain, Magellan was very happy upon he received the good news, for he could now continue the dream he longed for. And at the time, the famous voyage known as the First Voyage that circumnavigated around the world, which concluded that the Earth was round, began to sail. And so, Magellan's great journey around the world begins. <laughs>